Claire, you are an outfit repeater. So this week I thought it would be fun to make some clothing and accessories that fit within the ballet core style and aesthetic. I don't know, lately I just feel like cosplaying as a dancer, so uh, let's get started. I got out a bunch of pink and ivory fabrics from my stash to choose from. I definitely want to use up some of this ivory floral stretch lace and also some of this pink satin bed sheet that I thrifted a few years ago. First thing I'm going to make is leg warmers from this knit fabric that I picked up at Walmart. Okay, but why is this <laughs> like this? Why is it a tube? I don't know, is this normal for rib knit fabric to come in a tube like this? Ah, perfect. I just have a full body sock now. But anyway, I'm gonna make some leg warmers out of this. I used my leg to measure how long to cut the fabric, leaving a little extra for the hems. I then cut this into two pieces to make two long tubes of fabric. I measured around the widest part of my calf to get a width measurement that would fit snug but not too tight. I chose to sew this on my serger, but you can also use a zigzag stitch on a regular machine. Actually, a straight stitch would probably be fine here too, since the fabric doesn't need to stretch vertically. So far so good, so let's clean up the edges and add some elastic. And I serged the top and bottom edges just out of personal preference, I just like the way it looks. I decided to hem the edges with a twin needle. I really like the way a twin needle finish looks, but it's still a technique I haven't mastered and I struggle with it so much, like somehow I can never quite get the tension right. So this was another good opportunity to practice. I still wanted the leg warmers a little bit more snug though, so I added some elastic to both the top and bottom, with the bottom fitting about 2 inches smaller. So fun fact about this fabric that I've been using to make the leg warmers, it smells like rat pee, which considering I got it in the bargain fabric bin at Walmart, is highly likely, highly probable. So anyway, I decided to make a second style of legging. I just wasn't loving the way the original design was sitting on my leg. I don't know if it was like too long or what, but I decided to try one where the fabric is doubled up. It's just like a tube that turns in on itself and then I only had to add elastic at one end that way. And I think I like that a little bit better with the doubled up thickness of fabric. It sits a little bit better on the leg, but also just the fabric itself is not really as ideal for the project as I imagined. Because the way that it folds on itself, it folds in like a sharp kind of way. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, it doesn't have a rounded fold like sweater material would. So I'll show you both when I get around to showing everything at the end, and uh, you guys can just let me know which ones you like better. To make this second style of leg warmer, I again cut the fabric into two long tubes, but doubled the length. With wrong sides still out, I connected the ends of the tube like this, leaving a small opening to turn it right side out. I made a pocket for elastic on the end with the seam, leaving the small hole still open. This time I used a zigzag stitch instead of the twin needle. Once the elastic was pulled through and connected, I closed up the hole with a straight stitch. Next I wanted to make a wraparound skirt using this pink satin bed sheet. I wanted mine to wrap around about one and a half times, so I made a circle skirt with measurements for my waist times 1.5. You can also make it smaller if you want using waist measurements times 1.25 for a skirt that overlaps less. I cut the circle open and rounded off the ends. I then cut out a long strip of fabric for the waistband. I cut mine 3 inches wide, which will end up about 1 inch wide when it's all folded and I made it extra long. I used my serger to make a rolled hem on the skirt, but you could also do a narrow hem with a regular sewing machine. 
So this actually turned out pretty good. I was a little bit worried about it since I'd never done it before and kind of was unsure with this fabric, but um, I'm happy with that. So now let's add the waistband. After folding in both edges of the waistband, I folded and pressed it in half lengthwise. I then sandwiched the skirt inside this, making sure the midpoint of the skirt matched up with the midpoint of the waistband. It's really dark in here today. The cloud cover is intense. All right, so the last thing I think I'm gonna have time to make is a lace bodysuit. So I have two yards of this kind of ugly tablecloth looking stretchy lace. I actually bought this last year when I was remaking my wedding dress and I just never ended up using it. And I have two yards of it, I have so much. So I wanted to try to make something out of it and at least use all this fabric that I paid for. I've never made a bodysuit before, so this will definitely be an interesting challenge. I used a slim fitting tank top and a pair of underwear to create the shape of the bodysuit, leaving extra fabric for the seam allowance. The front and the back of the suit will need to fit differently around the crotch, so I traced that area separately. I had originally planned to create a lining both around the bust and the crotch using some leftover lining fabric that I had, but I didn't have nearly enough, so I settled for just lining the crotch. I hate that crotch is like the technical sewing term, it just sounds gross. I basted the front and back together along the sides and at the top of the shoulders before running it through the serger. Again, you can just use a zigzag stitch, but this won't really need to stretch much vertically. I also tried it on before serging to check if any adjustments were needed. Next, I cut out and sewed the sleeves. I used a pattern piece for the shape, but I probably could have self-drafted it since I ended up having to cut away so much fabric and reshaping the shoulder anyway. Once the sleeves were attached, I folded over the cuffs and secured with a zigzag stitch. The cuffs were so small though that this took some serious finagling. For the neckline, I cut out a strip of fabric on the cross grain that was about 2 inches shorter than the circumference of the neck hole and 2 inches wide. I folded this in half, right side out, and surged it to the neck opening with right sides together, stretching the strip of fabric slightly as I went. I actually had to redo this step because my first neckline strip was way too narrow, so now the neck hole is a little bit wider than originally planned, but I think it still looks fine. Before finishing the crotch, I surged the edges of both leg holes, again just out of personal preference. I then cut two pieces of elastic that were about 3 inches shorter than the leg hole openings. I pinned the elastic and leg hole together at their midpoint on the wrong side of the fabric, then pinned each end of the elastic about half an inch away from the ends of the crotch opening. I stretched the elastic slightly as I sewed. I then folded the elastic over so the surged edge would now be on the inside of the garment. The last thing to do was add the snap closures. I found this really old set of snap closures at the thrift store recently. I'm always finding slightly crusty, vintage-looking sewing notions there. So that is everything I'm gonna have time to sew for this video. I think my favorite thing is the little wraparound skirt. I just think it's so cute. I love like pink girly things like this. The leg warmers I think are my least favorite, mostly because I now associate them with the smell of rodent pee. And also the fabric I chose 
just really isn't the most ideal for what I was going for. They're, they're fine, they get the job done, so I'm hoping that once I wash them and get the smell out, it won't be so much of an issue. Yeah, pre-wash your fabrics, guys. I skipped the step because I was trying to be quick. Don't do that. And then the bodysuit was definitely the biggest challenge out of the three projects. I'm pretty proud of it. It's got a few little funky spots, but this is so totally different than anything I've made before. Mostly my issue is it's like too long in the front, in the groin area. The butt fits great, actually. I'm not having any discomfort issues with it. It's just like I notice that there's a little bit extra fabric, so it's not something that I'm pressed about fixing. And just because it is so sheer, I probably would be more likely to layer this under things, like under dresses. So with a bralette under it, it looks more like I'm going to be dancing, I suppose, but for real life practical purposes I'd probably layer this under something. So I'm pretty proud of how all of this turned out despite the few issues that there were. This was still a good challenge to push myself and learn some new things. These pieces just feel so girly and fun. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a little dancing emoji down in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe. Bye!